In this question, we are going to calculate the work that we need in order to pump out all the water in this tank throughout this thing out of the tank. How can we do it? The idea of calculating the work is pretty much just force times distance. And then to find out the force, it's pretty much just figuring the weight. And to find out the weight, it's pretty much just volume times density. And then this is the style of doing these kind of things, right? We are going to consider slices. So look at the shape that we have right now. And I'm going to cut this into a horizontal slices. So let me draw a rectangle, and then I'm going to make a horizontal cut. And the picture is going to look like this. So I have this thing like this, like this. And then the first thing we have to ask ourselves is that, what kind of shape do we have of the slices that we just draw? And the answer for that is, it's just like a horizontal uh, rectangular box. So it looks like this, just like the shape of your cell phone, things like that, right? Our first goal is to find the volume formula for this uh, box that we just have. We are going to figure out the volume and we have to write expression for that. This right here on the side, it's always equal to 8, 8 meters. Right? Regardless where you are, like below here or up here, this is always 8 meters long. This side right here is always 8 meters long. However, if you put the slices a little bit up right here, as you can see the front part, the rectangle will be bigger, right? The rectangle will be longer, right? And then like right here, like the rectangle down here will be smaller. <laughs> so the front part is the issue. I will have to figure out an expression for the front part. And then for the thickness, it's the differential part. Either you want to label it with uh, dy or dx, up to you. But anyways, let me just consider the front part because that's the part that changes and that gives us trouble. So I'm just going to look at the front, which is the triangle, and I'm going to draw the rectangle right here. And this is just the front part. And because this is just a small change in the y-axis, the thickness of this um, cell phone is just going to be labeled as dy because this is the small change in the y-axis. And now I would like to use my uh, x and y coordinate system. I will put down my reference frame like this. The most symmetrical way that I can come up with, which is the x-axis right here and the y-axis right here. And I'm putting the origin down here, right? The origin of the x and y plane at the uh, top of the triangle. All right. So based on the labeling, you see the small changes right here is dy, that's done. This right here, this right here, the horizontal distance right here, and which it changes, it's the x value. And I'm just going to label that with x. Okay? And let me do this in a more generic way for you guys. Generic way for you guys. For the box right here, this horizontal slice of the box, the volume of that is going to be, well, all together, this right here, based on this right here is 2x, right? So that's the length of the rectangle. So I'll put down the volume is 2x. And then we multiply by 8, okay? And then multiply by dy. So the front part is 2x. So the front part right here is 2x. And then the thickness is uh, dy. And then the side is always 8. This longest part is always 8. All right. And then we can just multiply by 9,000, well, um, 1,000 and then 9.8, and then the distance, things like that. However, because we're using dy here, and then here we have 2x, the x is not inviting the y world. So we must have a connection between the x and the y. And this is how we can do it. As you can see from this picture, especially we have a triangle, this right here, it's just a line. And I'm going to write an equation of this line. How can we do that? Well, y is equal to mx plus b. And you know that since the y intercept is 0, b will be 0. And we just have to figure out the slope of this line. So we have to go back to our um, measurements. This is 3 meters, so here to here is 3 meters, and I'm going to ignore the unit for now. The top of the triangle, which is the same right here, is also 3 meters. That means 
This much here is 1.5 meters. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to ignore the units, just like I said earlier. <laughs> okay, so what's the law of this line? Well, it's the y divided by the x, right? The change of y over change of x, which is 3 over 1.5. So we know the equation for this line is going to be y equals to 3. You go up 3 times, and you go to the right, 1.5. So 3 over 1.5x, and then you can reduce this, y will be 2x. And then for the x, um, what to isolate the x, we can divide by 2 on both sides. In another word, x is equal to 1 half y. And in fact, you don't even need to do that because you are exactly looking for 2x anyways. But usually, this is a step that you have to do. You have to isolate the x. And then you plug in this x into this y value here, or into this... Uh, well, you replace this x in terms of y into this x right here. And now I can write down the volume for you guys. I will keep the 2, and I'll multiply the x, which is 1 half y, and I'll multiply by the 8, and I'll multiply by the dy. And this right here will give me the volume of this box. And then, as I mentioned, we are going to... Uh, well, I have to put this down here. Okay, so let me do this real quick. 2 times 1 half y times 8 times dy. <laughs> and then we are going to do what? This is in meter, so we have to look at the density of the water when we have to multiply 1000. But then this is the SI unit, so we have to multiply by 9.8. This is the volume. This right here is just the density business in the uh, SI unit. We're pretty much done. And now the next thing is figure out the distance. So here, it's a slice of the water that we have, right? And based on my labeling, this right here, based on the labeling from here to here, it will be the y distance, right? And I would have to know what's the distance that to travel from here, not all the way to here though, because you have to account for the spot right here. So this right here is the y, and the whole thing from the tank, from here to here, is 3. But then, this much is y already, so that means from here to here, it will be 3 minus y. But then, I will have to go 2 more, because this right here is uh, 2 meters more, right? So altogether, I have to travel this much distance, which is 3 minus y plus 2. 5 minus y. 5 minus y, that's the distance that we have to travel. Okay? So I have to take this slice of water, and I have to travel 5 minus y distance in order to pump out that slice of water. And therefore, I'm going to multiply by 5 minus y. Altogether, this right here is the work that we need to pump out this slice of water. And now we just have to integrate it, and based on the labeling, we start off with 0. This is like the first slice of water down here for the y value. And then we end up at 3. That's the last slice, because the water is only up to here. So 0 to 3. And now we'll take care of it. This integral will calculate the work that we need to pump all the water in this tank. And if you worked out this integral, the, value, uh, the answer to this is 10, 58, 400, like this. And the unit for this, for the work in the SI unit, is joule. And this right here is the answer. That's it.